Hey guys, good morning. I'm Tony with HVAC Explained, working on another service call. I'd like to show you guys what I'm running into. The service call complaint was that there was a sudden noise coming from an air handler and also an odor, so I had to investigate. Okay, so this is a air handler for a medical facility. We have a return blower fan that's up in here on a freak drive system. Okay, we've got that one here. I'm gonna go ahead and check out those belts. Very rarely do we have the luxury of having lighting inside of equipment. I wish that was a standard, but it's not always there. So we have our return fan bringing back airflow and we got pressure switches. Okay. Um, let's move around here. Got my tools here. We got an opposing set of damper blades, okay? To bring return air, also outdoor air. It's gonna mix together throughout here, come through our first set of filters. And uh, yeah, Pittsburgh air is not exactly the cleanest. It may look like it, but there's little particles that are in there. Then we have an auxiliary, a secondary set of air filters as well to capture leftover debris that could pass through. Okay, so those look like they do need changed. Okay. Uh, all this goofy piping here, what is this for? Well, they got chilled water coil that goes through for cooling purposes. Okay, they have a hot water coil that utilizes boilers that feed hot water through a piping system and goes through and sends it out into the airstream. Okay, um, they are using a UV light. I'm gonna leave this engaged just to show you guys, but you do not, I repeat, you do not wanna stare at UV lights. They do make certain particular safety glasses to wear. Okay, you can see the glow. I'm just holding my camera in here, folks. You can see the glow, okay? It's going across my EVAP coils. Those coils look brand new, right? Right? That's what I have at my house, okay? UV lights, I like using them. My coils at my house are eight, maybe nine years old. They still look brand new, okay? Brand new. That UV is basically, it's killing off bacteria, mold, spores, odors, um, pretty much just imitating the sun, okay? That's why we need the sun. If we don't have the sun, we're dead, okay? We need the sun for stuff to live. Now, um, so yeah, it's cutting down on bacteria and killing off mold spores and whatnot. Uh, so we have to have that. So then also in front of that, we are utilizing steam, okay? Steam coming out of these little orifices down along these header pipes, okay? That's out of stainless lines and it's being fed directly into the return side of the uh, supply fan. Also, um, they got freak drives for the chillers as well, chiller pumps. And here's your supply fan. Now, my issue, I heard a noise coming from this fan. Belts are actually rather loose for this size motor and what kind of torque it's putting out. So our, our pulleys are rather warm. It has cooled down a good bit since I opened this up because I decided to shoot a little video. But these pulleys were pretty much at, at like 155, 160 and belts slipping away. So I got to see, we got a new set of belts on site. Um, basically, even though that's a, a heavy grade steel um, or, or could, be, uh, could be cast iron, it looks like a casting. Um, basically, those rubber belts, believe it or not, eventually will take that V pattern and bring them together. So then it, it loses its, it can't grip basically. So it's spinning its wheels it's losing efficiency. It's losing that CFM into the space, okay? So that's why I'm all, I'm really big into maintenance, okay? I like keeping things running tip-top shape. That's one of, one of the biggest things that I run into. If equipment is not maintained properly, it won't run properly, okay? Some people think, oh, I got a lemon. I got a piece of garbage. Uh, they don't know what they're doing. It's a bad manufactured unit. Not always. There are occasional lemons that we do get. Every, every field, cars, equipment, whatever, sometimes it just comes off wrong at the assembly line. That does happen. But a majority of the time, things run good when you have coils clean. Filters are good. Belts are good. Wiring's tightened. Uh, you got the proper charge, okay? Uh, might as well show you this too. I gotta look at this. They utilize um, a lead lag system with steam humidifiers that is pumping out the steam into our system. And we do have a fault. I gotta take a look at a blower, possible blower motor that's not operating properly in here. So, but once I came in, I heard that noise. I'm like, let me address that first before it's causing more problems. 
So, um, and the boiler system is, uh, yeah, downstairs and the chiller's outside, but. Certain reasons why I like to wipe off grease, people. Certain reasons, why is that? Okay. Going up, 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 over. Why, why is this like this? Just wipe it off. Now look, and I gotta try to clean up. Okay guys, I gotta get back at it. I'm glad you guys could follow along. Thank you very much for watching HVAC Explained. Um, if you guys have any questions, I could possibly answer them for you. This is uh, commercial and heating, cooling. So, all right, have a good day, stay safe. Thank you very much for watching and please like, comment, subscribe. Ooh, my coffee.